99% of planning and goals are stupid. Let me explain. So today I woke up, you know, I was like, oh shit, I need to go to the gym. And I had, I had no idea what I was going to do. And so I just went and I just fucking lifted some weights and I had a great workout. And I just did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, I had a really hard week last week, not hard, but like, I mean, I lifted, I'm pretty sore everywhere. So, you know, I didn't have a plan, just went there, just fucking did it. Right. And then it, I was thinking about this. I was like, you know, I didn't plan anything. And I was like, I was like, I mean, I'm looking pretty good. I was like, I'm looking better than most of these people who are like probably writing down their journals and stuff. And it reminded me when I first started my business and I literally just was like, like I've said, I was fucking broke. I needed to make money. And I just went out. I just fucking hit the pavement, started knocking doors. I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know how to knock doors or do the work really. And so I, I say that to say, you know, obviously like we should plan, make sure you know where the fuck you're going. If you don't know where you're going, then like any route is the good route to take. But obviously you should know, Hey, I want to be rich. I want to be successful. I want to discover my mission in life. That is really the calling too. And, and for me, it's, it's always been about pursuing the work and you know, what is the work that you need to be doing? And for the longest time, I was like, I had no idea what I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? And then like, once I started business and once I really started making money, I was like, wow, it's like doing, honestly, doing the things that are sometimes the hardest that you really, that you know, you need to do. Like it's the, it's as simple as it sounds like the things that you're avoiding, like the things that make you afraid, like knocking doors or running ads or starting that business and making money, changing people's fucking lives. Like that, that isn't easy. Like most people, 99% of people are going to be working jobs nine to fives for, for the rest of their lives. And they're going to have someone else telling them what to do, which is fine. You know, if, if that works for you, if you have a good situation, I just, I honestly, I think of this too. I almost, almost got lucky in the sense that I had so many shitty jobs. Like I was thinking I went to Alaska and I went to, I was at certain grocery stores, tire shops, restaurants. And I, the, the Alaska one specifically, cause I was talking with, with a family member today. He's like, Oh yeah, I had some friends that went to Alaska. They worked in this factory and one worked on a boat and they loved it. They had a great time. And I was like, huh, I, I did the exact same thing. So I worked in a factory one summer and then the next summer I went fishing and I had a shitty time. I fucking hated it. And I was like, I would never do that again. But it's just a little bit of a different perspective to some, to one person. It's cool to another person. It's like, for me, it was like the worst thing that I had done. And obviously not that it's when I say worse and bad, I'm not like, Oh, woo woo poop. Like, it's not like a bad thing. Cause obviously it, it made me who I am today. I'm not mad at about, about a hard workout or climbing a, a tough mountain. Like, Oh, that sucked. But it's like, you're fucking proud of it. Like some of like, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've climbed like all the tallest peaks in Washington, no training. We just went out. We just fucking sent it. We climbed the mountain and perhaps I'll tell that story in the next, next podcast, longer video type episode. And we just fucking did it. We just, we, we knew where we were going top of the mountain. I guess this kind of ties into the whole point of the, of this t today's kind of rant. And we just focused on putting one step in front of the other, right? Like, obviously we know we want to get to the top of the mountain, but like so many people, cause then that's funny too. Cause I remember I was talking with like a friend's parents and they're like, Oh yeah, we're, we're planning on climbing Mount Rainier. We've been training for the last year and a half. And I was like, huh? I just did it. I had zero training. I went with a friend who knew his dad had actually done it like 17 times. So he knew very much what he was doing. And so I had a good, you know, guide, a good mentor along the way. But that was kind of a cool experience where it's like, Hey, you don't fucking need any training. You don't need to do all this stuff. You can just go climb a mountain. You just go put one foot in front of the other. Boom. Like it's, it's a long ass hike. Like it took us like 10 hours to get to the top, but like, it wasn't, wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done. It wasn't like rocket science. It wasn't like we needed a, a master's degree or two years of training. Just you fucking do it. And so same thing with business. It's like some people, I see so many people, myself included, when I was first getting into this, like I was putting off the things I knew, knew I needed to do, the uncomfortable stuff, the stuff that I was like, ah, that's icky. I don't like to sell. I don't like to do this. And that's another thing too I wanted to touch on is selling only sucks when you don't believe in your product. And that's the biggest part, like when you're first starting Beanie, chill. He's obviously he, we're at the beach. So he, he sees some birds. He wants to go chase them, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But going back to like when you're first starting, cause that's kind of what this is all about. If you're, if you're still like trying to do something new and you're not sure what the next step is, like, I wouldn't worry about the whole plan and all that. I would just fucking do it and, and do the stuff that you really believe in. And part of that is doing, knowing that you're a good man and knowing that you're going to do good work. 
So selling should not be scary because the biggest problem with selling is when you don't actually believe in your product. That's why it feels icky. Like whenever I was working at like a grocery store and we had to sell those credit cards, it felt icky because I was like, no one needs another fucking credit card. And I sucked at selling them. And so they would cut my hours and I wasn't working very much because I wasn't good at selling. But then when I actually was like, hey, you need to get your roof and gutters done. Like you need to, we'll, wa we'll wash your house, we'll wash your driveway. We're going to make your house look amazing. And it's only this much. Like that's when I started to get fired up and like now, like I'm selling like my inner circle, my courses, how to make money, how to do all this stuff. And I'm fucking fired up. I'm passionate about it because I know it's awesome. Like I've bought like tens of thousands of dollars of courses and programs. So I know my shit is good. So that's why I'm so passionate and like why I'm good at selling it because it's not even selling you when you are good at what you do and you have a good product, you don't even really have to sell it. It's just like, Hey, do you want my stuff? No. Cool. I don't, someone else will, you know? So that's another thing. So if you're, if you're nervous about selling right now, it's cause you don't believe enough in your products. You need to believe in it, believe in yourself and just know that you're going to do a good fucking job. So that is pretty much all I had for today's message. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're thinking about, just fucking get after it. Just do what makes you feel uncomfortable. And then, and you'll feel that growth. And it's whether it's in the gym, whether it's with your business, whether it's running ads, knocking doors, just fucking get after it. You know what you need to do, man. So I will see you guys in the next video. Let's fucking get it. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in to the Spencer Clay Show. That's all for now. See you in the next episode. Peace.